This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to share with y'all that I have recompiled the Tesla menu so that way it supports the latest Switch firmware, which is right now 21.0.1. .1. So as you can see on my screen, you have my Switch at the current version of Switch firmware 21.0.1 .1 with Atmosphere 1.10.0. And I have Tesla running in the background. And uh, for the rest of this video, we're going to go ahead and set up the Tesla menu. And I'll be testing out just a couple of things with it just to show you that it's working on my end. But that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, the first thing that we can do is open up the SD card that we're using on the Switch. You do need to have CFW already set up on your SD card in order for this to work. But now that we have the SD card open, we can go ahead and download this one zip file that we're going to need for today. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links. One of them should say click here to download the Tesla menu for 21.0.1, .1, something like that. Once you click on that link, it should take you to my GitHub page. And here will be the release uh, that I have for Tesla menu. And all you need to do is just navigate to this assets area and click on this link to start the download process. If you do not see this option, it's probably because the assets tab is closed. You can just go ahead and click on this and you should be able to see it. But make sure that it's the version 2.0 and um, looks exactly like this when you're downloading. After that, you can have it move to the desktop like I have done already. Now what we're gonna do is extract this to your SD card. Now with extracting, I like to use 7-Zip. So if you wanna follow along with me, I will have a download link to 7-Zip as well in the description. But with 7-Zip, I'm gonna open the archive. Here in the archive, we can see that we have the two folders that we are needing for Tesla menu to work. So we're gonna highlight both of these folders and then we're gonna extract them to the root of the SD card. And that's the beginning of your SD card without being inside any of the folders. So with that, we're gonna extract and I'm gonna extract it down here where there's no folders. That way I don't accidentally put it inside any of the folders or else it will not work. But right here it says this destination has files the same names. If you have an old version of Tesla menu, it's gonna say this message for you. Just go ahead and replace the files in the destination. That should be it. Now, for any reason, uh, if you have any crashing with Tesla menu, that's probably because the overlays that you're using are outdated and not working for 21.0.1, .1, or the extraction wasn't uh, successful and you don't have the new one. So I would recommend that you would go and follow along where these files are. So if we enter them, it's contents folder, and then I don't know how much I can show, but if you follow along the directories and then do the same on your SD card. You can delete them manually and then re-extract onto your SD card. But we should be fine now and let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to eject that on my SD card and I'll see you all back on the Switch. Okay, so here on the Switch home menu, before we test anything out, I just want to show you that I am on the latest Switch firmware still just to show you that it's working with the latest version. I'm going to open up Tesla menu and there we go. So the first thing I guess we can test is my quick reboot. I have updated this so that way it works for 21.0.1. .1. If I enter it, I don't have any crashing. Usually a uh, Tesla menu would have crashed already by entering and exiting it. But reboot to payload, go straight into to, uh, Tech 8. Okay, so the first test with Tesla menu with my quick reboot app was successful, so we should be good to go. But I do have two other examples for y'all today, and that's status monitor and it is on so a status monitor you have uh, options to see your cpu usage gpu ram and other functions that it has but just showing you that it's working with tesla menu i did find the latest version of, of status monitor that works with 21.0.1 .1. but the point of this video is just to show you that tesla menu is working so it should have crashed already has not crashed my switch and then the last one would be Edison, but we need to test it out with the title. So let's go ahead and try that out. All right, so with the test the menu, I can go into Edison. And if you already have cheats installed on your Switch, you can use the AO Switch updater or download them from somewhere else. And here you, with Edison, you can enter and change your options. Toggle them on or off. It hasn't crashed anything, so I turned them off right now. But let's go ahead and test it out in game. I hope it's not overpowering my voice, but I should be able to die if there you go. So now if I enter it is on and turn them on, 
There's no crashing, hasn't crashed the switch. Should be working just fine, and there you go. Now I have my cheats on. And I shouldn't be able to... There you go, so... <laughs> it seems really bad. But there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Everything seems to be working just fine for me with Tesla Menu, and I hope everything works for you too if you go ahead and try it out. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't. Of course, if it doesn't, you can leave a comment down below, and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. I've been testing it with my switch with my OLED and everything seems to be working just fine on my end. So I hope it really works for you. Um, like I said, if it doesn't work for you, most likely the extraction didn't extract properly and you probably have to try it again or at least delete the older version of Tesla menu and then extract the this new version that I have released. So with that being said, uh, I know the other option was Ultra Hand and it does work right now with you know, with Tesla menu or Ultra Hand it does the same thing. But it has a lot of functions that, you know, wasn't really interested in. But um, to each their own. I want it to be simplified. That's what I'm used to, the Tesla menu. So for those of you that um, probably didn't want to use Ultra Hand, hopefully this helps you out and you can get back on the Tesla menu if that's what you are interested in as well. But with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.